In this video, let's see a numerical problem based on the concept of multiplication of matrix. We already know how do the matrix multiply, what is the condition for the multiplication. Let's see this question and let's get started with the solution. The question is compute the product of, that means you are supposed to use the concept of multiplication. There is a matrix set given here, there is another pair of matrix given here and they are separated by plus sign. So that means first compute the product of these two, then compute the product of these two and then add them together. So first see what is the order of the first matrix. The first matrix is a one row matrix, one row and two columns. So basically it is one by two. What about this matrix CD? CD has how many rows? Two rows, one column. Okay. So now if this is the story, do we have two equal to two? Yes, we have. That means the rows of the second matrix are equal to the number of columns of the first. So it means matrix multiplication is possible. What will be the order of the resultant matrix? The resultant matrix will have the order as 1 by 1, this we know, okay, separate that. Let's move on to the other story of the other set of matrix. What is the order of this matrix? There are how many rows? One row, how many columns? Four. So it is 1 by 4. Come on to this matrix, A, B, C, D, vertical column. Column matrix with how many rows? Four rows, how many columns? One columns. Is matrix multiplication possible? Yes, because 4 is equal to 4. Number of columns of the pre-multiplier is equal to number of rows of the post-multiplier. And then what we are supposed to do? We are supposed to find out the order of the resultant matrix. It will be 1 by 1. Okay, 1 by 1. 1 by 1 order means 1 row, 1 column. That means a single element and here also the same story. These two are 1 by 1 matrices. They will be added up together. So now when we know the whole story, let's start with the solution. I write the heading as solution. Right. Now, what is the case to be done? We need to do that story again. First row, first column. Right. So it is A into C plus B into D. And that is it because we have a one by one matrix. So it is AC plus BD. One by one. This is done. What is the result of the second matrix? Separated by plus sign I write. Again, I have the whole row multiplied by the whole column and it becomes A into A is A square, B into B is B square, C into C is C square and last but not the least D into D is D square. So that means what? That means I have A square plus B square plus C square plus D square and that is again a one by one matrix. Now what about the arithmetic operations of addition and subtraction? Possible in two matrices? Yes, but only when the order is same. Order one by one in both. Story is easy for us now. We are just wanting the one by one matrix and how to add AC and BD. Are they here? No. A square plus B square plus C square plus D square not here. So just add them. Adding them will give me AC plus BD plus A square plus B square plus C square and plus D square. So let's expand this a bit because we need some space to write it down. Let's erase this and then I write it again. A square plus B square plus C square plus D square. Add it up together with AC plus BD. So this is the simple question based on the concept of multiplication as well as addition. We finally obtained a matrix which had only one by one order. That means one row and one column.